Hello. In this video, I want to throw a quick update on my voice search bot coded in Python. If you didn't see my last video, please go and check it out. In that video, I talk about the first version. I present the first version of the code, which is basically 60 lines. Um, and it responds to only two commands, that is search for and stop listening. Uh, that version uses Microsoft SAPI for speech synthesis and the code is quite slow and makes it um, practical. But it's, and it was the minimum viable version, so like a minimum viable product. So I had to post it so that I would have something to work on. Now this version 1.1.2 is about 370 lines of code. Um, I changed the speech synthesis engine to um, Ivona, which sounds quite natural. You'll see about it in a minute. Um, I was able to restructure the code um, and uh, this, this had led to major improvements in speed um, and right now it's quite it's quite efficient, quite convenient to work with. Um, I added quite a few functions, so now it responds to a lot of personalized commands. Um, it can update my stuff, save things to cloud. You'll see about it in a minute. It also responds to different general knowledge questions by working with different APIs. Um, so right now I still have to work on um, the fact that it freezes from time to time. Um, I was able to I tested for I tested it for like 40 to 50 minutes um, and it worked without crashes but there were a few times when uh, it froze after a couple of minutes so I have a few suspicions it could be because of hardware issues um, the microphone I guess it could also be because of communication with Google's API um, or I don't know I have to keep investigating and see uh, why it is crashing so anyway I'll work on that Right now, let's see what's what's in the current version. Hello. For a list of commands, please say keyword list. Search for books on peak performance. Google results for books on peak performance. Who was George Orwell? Eric Arthur Blair, the 25th of June 1903, the 21st of January 1950, who used the pen name George Orwell, was an English novelist, essayist, journalist, and critic. His work is marked by lucid prose, awareness of social injustice, opposition to totalitarianism, and outspoken support of democratic socialism. How long did George Orwell live? The answer is 46 years, 6 months, 26 days. What is the distance between Mars and Saturn? Google results for the distance between Mars and Saturn. What is the value of the force of gravity on Earth?
The answer is gravitational force, 589.9 N newtons equals 132.6 lbf pounds force equals 0 0.5899 kilonewtons, kilonewtons. How many grams of carbohydrates are in 100 grams of cheese? The answer is 3.6 grams oh, carrot 2 grams squared. How many grams of carbohydrates are in cheese? How many grams of carbohydrates are in cheese? The answer is 1.1 grams. Update my list. Mail list is updated. Read this text. Other biases may provide rationale behind personal development bubble. One of them, the focus of this write-up, is the priming effect. It caught my interest and it made me read a few scientific papers about it. Over the last few decades the priming effect has received a cocktail of appraisal and criticism on behalf of the research community. Save this text. Saving your text to file. Bookmark this page. Page bookmarked. Stop listening. I am shutting down. Okay, so this is it for now. Thanks for watching.